Okay, just on some YouTube clips today. Uh, we're going to do this one just to sing along. Because I hadn't learned it all completely. Uh, I have a lot of songs that I want to learn. I've been memorizing so many. All at once is just difficult. To our own brain. Diamond brain. <laughs> Jelly brain. And so we're going we're gonna to jam this one right now. It's a casting. I think yeah, it's a casting crown. So, uh, right here.
Oh my God, we don't know. When we have something, uh, how bad it is that we live said, you know. So, you know, thank God that, uh, God that we, we have you, Jesus, and we have each other, no matter our differences our angers of each other, our hatreds, uh, revenges, uh, deceptions that we've been lying to about. Oh, come on. we got to love each other, man. Just love, 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 love. Love, love. Makes the world go round, round and round and round. Because in John 1, it says, God, is love right and he's got the whole world in his hand he's got the whole wide world in his hand he's got the whole world in his hand he's got the whole world in his hands right he's got me and your brother in his hands. <laughs> I have me and your sister in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. And he's holding it up in love. Because he is love. You people that don't believe the whole Bible, start believing it's real and it's true. How you going to deny it? How you going to pick out what's, what God can say and what, 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 what can be proclaimed as truth of God? Because it doesn't fit what you want to do or your agenda or your beliefs or your plans or your ways. A pain or, or understanding the world or your politics or your you want to drink or you want to do this or, or that. I'm gonna believe the whole world, the word of God, because it's never lied to me. A lot of you have. Jesus has never lied to me. He's never like told me that he's never early, he's never late, he's always been right on time. And we'll tell you what, he's never lied to me one single time or let me down. Once he sat on my hospital bed, I was 19 for three months, man. Sat with me and held my hand till I got, come on, the time with me told him almost 20 years. Okay, and sooner or later you got to believe in love, man, and that Jesus is real. So if you don't like what I'm saying, and you out there, oh, listen to him, listen to him, Tony Shaw, I don't do this for money, I don't do this to excuse my past, I don't do this for respect, I don't do this for any reason except to pay my vow to God. What you do with it from here, I, I told him, and they, I'll bring them to you, Jesus. I'll, probably, I'll bring them to you. I'll tell them the testimony. Then you'll do your thing. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. Don't so pay him my vow. But I love because of him. I love because of him. How are you going to deny it? How are you going to just deny the love he has for you? You can't deny it. Sooner or later, it's going to get a hold of you. you sacred that. Okay. I do it so he, I want to plead. I don't do it for money. I don't care about money. All these. Come on. Who need money? We need it to pay our bills. But he'll bless us with that. He feeds us sparrows, it says. He feeds us sparrows and he'll take care of us. 
do anything for him, but he do it for the glory of God to bless you with great blessings. I'm telling you, don't do anything for money. The love of it, the lust of it is a killer. Do it for the glory of God. Do good with it. And they're multiplying. Multiply. Your lust for it is slipped through your fingers like gold and sand. So just be real with God. Be real with yourself. Real with other people. And love. It's contagious like a wildfire. <laughs> it's a wildfire. No. It's a rush better than well, whatever your rush is or was. This is better than anything I've ever had. I want him, Jesus, to smile and keep loving me and giving me the affection that makes me high. And God, my father, he never threw football with me or neither my dad, but God thrown hard ball with me. Use the joke. And my Holy Spirit companion. <laughs> my God. Oh, you're blessing me, Lord. Send him or something. Well, he does, man. I, these three amigos, fights on braves, have been with me. Even in the womb, someday you'll hear about it. And it wasn't mom's fault. We figured it out, and the Bible says, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Free, and the Son set you free, you are free indeed. So he set me free. He set me free. There's even a song, He set me free. God, come on, get set free from your presence. Your prisons, man. Uh, have no fear of death. If you fear death or something wrong, you think you're saved and all that. If you fear death, you don't know where you're going. You're not saved if you don't know where you're going. If you don't have the blessing of sin, of heaven, and you, you know, you feel that something wrong. Get with the Lord and the Word of God. Don't even listen to me. So you know I'm telling the truth. Because I'm telling I don't want to be no leader. It was God's idea to be a pastor. I didn't want to be. He's gonna have his way. The dear I can't make the vow. Don't make a vow to God. Read it. Ecclesiastes 5. Just keep on keeping on. So God keep on trucking. Ride on, ride on, ride on. Okay. Whatever. Okay? All I can do is be a, a messenger, a witness of his glory, of his love, his peace, his rushing joy, his my God. What, Billy? Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy, boy. Oh, Billy. Y'all see my new pack? There's always back in the gang. There's always in the gang. Look at that. So, that's our logo. That's a broken chain gang. That's a broke program. And our prison ministry, and the one of the ministry things of our church, we are providing Bibles to men in prison. I've been doing that for 20 years. Out of my own money, I work for it. Even crap on, I work for it. You liars, if you want to say I never worked, I didn't take no social security. I didn't get welfare. No food stamps. Okay. I've worked ever since 2001 here in Tyler, Texas. 
and use the money. And I, the Bible says, you shouldn't brag. You should never brag on yourself. You should never brag. But if you must brag, pray about what the Lord has done in your life. So he, his love made me do that. His love, so I'm bragging on the Lord, okay? I I crap, I'm crap. Northside trash of H-Town, okay? Northside trash, gutter trash. Time to be good boy, but you have to grow up where I was brought up. This Lord, all day, some of you know about that, all day. You know, some of the people I grew up with, you know, some were real people. There's real people, there's honorable outlaws. But you watch that stuff you put in your body, it'll make you an animal sometimes. You do stuff, you don't even want to do, man. I'm telling you, some of you know that. I just wish this could get into the prisons. Or you men are in there. So I'm gonna do and this next clip is gonna be a song that uh, a parody sort of uh, lyrics I, I wrote uh, about uh, all the baby bummer anthem. It's I call it White Horses from Revelations 19 in the Bible, and I call it White Horses, the baby bummer's anthem. Y'all need to hear that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang this one up. Okay. And I'll come back in a minute. 